I'm Jennifer Angel. Hi Aquarius, this is my overview for you for the week of August the 8th. Okay, so there seems like there's things going on around friends and friends and contacts this week. Um, you've got the sun right opposite you still, so this is very nice for intimate relationships and, you know, very nice to connect with people. But in your social area and to do with friends, we've got Mars and Saturn. Now, these are really opposite energies because Mars wants to push forward and Saturn wants to hold back. Um, but in that sense, they, you know, they can sort of balance each other out. So um, be careful... Uh, you know, of rushing forward and going out to um, situations or social events that you really don't feel that you need to or want to. So don't allow anybody to, you know, push you into things that you don't want because um, there's a connection with uh, right at the start of the week with Pluto and Mercury as well. And this is going to really heighten your instincts. Uh, so, uh, you know, fo follow them. Now, Saturn comes out of retrograde as well uh, this week, which is very nice. So, one is coming out of retrograde, when a planet goes in and out of retrograde, it can be more disruptive. Uh, so, as it's coming out of this retrograde period, you could find that even though things are going to start to sort of go forward, um, perhaps situations or people from the past can come back and, uh, you know, give you a chance to sort out any issues, particularly as there's a square with Saturn and Venus. So, and particularly if it's um, a monetary, uh, you know, issue, uh, um, or love, let's not forget Venus represents, you know, love and money, relationships and money, and it's all about relationships, really. I mean, everything that we do, well, if you pick an area of life, it's all about relationships. Um, so, as, uh, you know, as, as we've got this square here, then most certainly there could be something from the past that comes up that gives you an opportunity to deal with it, and resolve it or you know release the end of the blocked energy so you can you know clear it so that's a good thing although uh, you know in saying that it can be a little bit confronting it is a square for after all after all but at the same time venus does have an opposition with um neptune and this is a very nice energy. It's, it's in both of your monetary zones. It's also in an area of self-worth for you, Aquarius. So you want to sort of firstly be mindful of the self-talk about um, how you think about the things that you want to attract in life and whether you really feel worthy of attracting them. So it's a very self-growth type week um, in many ways uh, so you can do some clearing out with friends don't be surprised if you actually walk away from someone after you get sort of some resolution and sometimes you don't need a resolution with a person you can get the resolution within yourself and that's all that's that can be necessary uh, but as I say, you know, while this square is going on, we've also got this opposition. And even though an opposition can be a hard aspect, with Venus and Neptune, not so much. It's like a spark of energy. It's a very romantic energy uh, and it's a soft energy. So um, something nice can sort of come of that though. As usual, there's um, some supportive and confronting, uh, uh, you know, things going on and, uh, you know, challenging and support. We need them both. I hope you have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.